What is going on, warriors? This is your man Johnny F here, and in today's video, we are running through the various ways that magnesium glycinate improves mental health, and why you want to use magnesium glycinate for this instead of other forms. So make sure to watch this video till the end to get the most out of it. Welcome to Next Level Warrior. It's great to have you here again. And for anyone that's new to the channel, we go over topics surrounding mental health and personal development to help you build your warrior within to become your next level self. So if that sounds good to you, then join the growing warrior community by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications, selecting all to catch my videos posted every week. So in my last video, we went over the huge connections between magnesium deficiencies and our physiological and psychological responses to it. That lead to increased mental health issues, which you can check out here if you missed it. Simply put, when we have a sense of not feeling like ourselves, feeling imbalanced, unhealthy, and thoughts that something is actually wrong constantly in the back of our minds, this can snowball into a lot of negative feelings about ourselves, affecting our mental health. But today we're cranking the spotlight on how magnesium can actually help you with this. So let's get right to it. We all know that stress management plays a huge role in living a higher quality of life. This is why I'm such a big advocate of various practices, including meditation and journaling to help you manage your stress and quality of life. But when it comes to magnesium, its ability to inhibit or block stress receptors is just one of the many ways that it helps to lower our stress responses in life. Lowering your stress responses, as mentioned in the last video, increases the space between your calm and relaxed self and triggering your fight or flight mechanisms. So inhibiting our stress receptors reduces how much cortisol and adrenaline can affect us, which reduces anxiety as well. It's a pretty nice combo. And something that you might not know is that magnesium is actually critical for cellular energy production. We can't make energy without it. And it's easy to see how if we feel tired, lethargic, and constantly fatigued, this really adds to feelings of anxiousness as to why we aren't feeling like ourselves. As a result, these feelings we can experience of low energy, not being in harmony, and not knowing why it's happening is really taxing on the mind, which can lead to further anxiety and depression. Magnesium plays a key role in balancing our body's calcium and magnesium ratios, which I'm not about to get into, but having adequate levels of magnesium in the body is absolutely necessary for relaxing our muscles, flowing oxygen to them, and helping to prevent lactic acid buildup, all reducing pain. This helps us to not only feel physically better throughout the day, but get more quality sleep at night. Okay, I get that second part, but how does physical tension affect our mental health? Mm, I thought you'd ask that. Now, to put it simply, if your muscles are extra tight, overly sore, this increased feeling of tension adds to your stress levels, making you feel like you can't relax increasing the level of daily thoughts that your body isn't well, which clearly affects your mental health. And magnesium deficiencies also result in random painful cramping of your muscles, which is definitely something I've experienced. And if you have too, then let me know in the comments by typing, cramps suck. Come on. Serotonin is one of our many neurotransmitters, basically a brain chemical that delivers messages between neurons and it sends messages associated with our mood, emotions, cognitive functions, motor functions, and a lot more. And serotonin, along with other neurotransmitters such as the feel-good dopamine, need magnesium as a building block in order for us to synthesize it in our body. Therefore, when you're deficient in magnesium, you can't produce the same levels of these brain messengers. And research shows that serotonin transmission can definitely contribute to depression. So I hope that this is really sinking in as to how important magnesium is for our mental and physical health. A few other notes here on magnesium deficiencies is that they can also lead to reduced cardiovascular health, reduced blood sugar regulation, poor memory, insomnia, headaches, and you know that these side effects are going to affect your mood, negatively impact your thoughts, feelings, and mental well-being. So I want to clarify that in no way am I trying to be a downer here. I simply want to inform you because the truth is that not only is it very easy, but super empowering to bring yourself back into balance when you're getting enough magnesium on a daily basis. Which brings me to the point of the best kind of magnesium to take for mental health and anxiety. Now, I can't go on without clarifying that you can use other supplemental magnesium sources. 
it doesn't have to be magnesium glycinate in order to bring your magnesium levels into balance to, or to maintain them. I specifically suggest it most of all because in this form of glycinate, the elemental magnesium is chelated or bonded to glycine, which is also a very calming amino acid, one that acts as a powerful inhibitory neurotransmitter. This helps our brain and nervous system reduce excitability, creating additional balance and a calmer electrical signaling environment in the brain. In contrast, when our nervous system and brain are firing off in greater excitatory levels, this overactivity for long periods is very stressful. We can't think straight, we can't focus, and a lot of this hyperactivity is known to lead to neurodegenerative diseases. So hopefully I didn't overly explain that. And if you still have any questions, then make sure to drop me a line in the comments, like this video if it helped you out, make sure to subscribe for more weekly content, and the big one here, make sure to get yourself some magnesium glycinate. I'll see you guys in the next one.